have to run a slant versus an inside shape EB. Okay, so now I'm coming off here. All I'm doing is it's the same wide step, but now we're actually going to sell like I'm going back inside. So it's one, two, and then I'm going to take off to the outside on a three step diamond release. So I'm going here. Again, it's one, two, one, two, three, trying to get him to commit to that fade, and then I slip back underneath. Okay, does that make sense? You guys got me on that? Now, why wouldn't I, so Donovan, come up here? Why wouldn't I just take off and just run the diamond? Why wouldn't I do that on this? Like, or why, why aren't we working on that? Does anybody know? Because the releases have to build on each other. You know what I'm saying? So, like, like uh, anybody that's good off the line of scrimmage is not just the guy who has 10 different releases that he uses. He has five or six different releases that he uses, but they all look the same. You know what I mean? They all build off of each other. So a couple times he's head up, I hit him with a wide step, wide step, take the inside, take the inside. Now I come back and I hit him with the same exact thing, wide step, but instead of going to the inside, I put the brakes on. I put the brakes on with that inside move. Now I take off to the outside. He goes with me because he thinks I'm going three, two, three, and then I'm slipping back on. So we want to make the releases build off each other and then want to make them look the same. We don't want to just go out there and run 10 different things that are that can be run for 10 different routes. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? All right.